What's up, gamers? It's demo time. Get ready. Ten Cent Games. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the newest gaming genre, the auto chess genre, in particular, Chess Rush. This is a Ten Cent's attempt at doing auto chess, and it's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games that's different than um, the type of games that you would normally see. Uh, no card game, no like RPG or nothing. It's a, literally its own thing. And it's fun. I love it. This is one of those things that is it's getting popular. I think it has a potential to be competitive as well. So we'll see how that works out. I mean, there is some luck involved, but if you understand the concept of how to play the game and then some good strats, you can do pretty well. Uh, right now, I'm rook rank, rook rank, which is not really a high rank, which is odd because Rook is a stronger piece than a bishop or a knight or anything like that. But apparently, after you graduate from pawn, you go to Rook. So that's a little bit weird. And then it goes to, like, knight, bishop. So it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, not important right now. So in the beginning here, you have to choose a couple, you know, up to two characters to put on the board. Uh, you start off with two, I guess you want to call them diamonds or mana crystals. So we're going to go ahead and pick two cyborgs. Now the reason I picked cyborg is because I had two ready. If you can get multiples of the same type, it's usually good to play them. Because if you can get as many in play as you can that are different names, you'll be able to get bonuses. So if I click here, where it says cyborg, so that's what I picked here. If I had three of them, a random ally's armor would be 75, or basically it would be increased by 75. If I had six... Um, all cyborgs would be up at 75 and regen by 30. And, they, and each one gives 30 regen. Now, on the first round, you're just going up against uh, the computer. So you don't have to worry about anything crazy. Uh, so, since I did pick cyborgs in the beginning, let's see if I want to pick a secondary uh, group. Well, I do see a duplicate copy of a goblin sorcerer, so I think I'm going to pick two of those. So I think I'll... We'll do that. There we go. Right now I can only have three characters on board. If you look at the bottom left, uh, where you see like five experience and then a little helmet. Now the helmet which says three of three. The three on the right side is how many max units I'm able to have. And in the bottom bar where it says zero two, that's how many um, recharge that I have to uh, get to the next level. Every time you... Uh, when, or you, you do a round, you get two automatically. So I'll be able to, to have four this coming round as far as characters in play. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do here, since I was able to pick a combination of goblins and cyborgs, I'm going to focus on getting those. So there's a goblin here. And boom, put him on there. Now since I have two goblins in play, I actually do get an ability. I'm doing some equipping real quick. And let me uh, check something here. You know what, I'm going to spin five. Put another thing here. So I have now I can actually have five in play. Let's see how they do. But anyway, what the goblins do is if you have two of them, uh, increase the attack speed for all allies by 15. Actually, I think it's it's attack speed and additional 15 for goblins. Okay, so it's 30 for goblins and 15 for everybody else, and we won. So pretty cool. We haven't lost yet. Well, we're only playing against, like, computer. Well, no, actually, I think we played a player. Yeah, we played against a player this time. All right. So we're going to go ahead and keep this uh, pattern up. I'm going to look for more uh, goblins or cyborgs. So I will go ahead and pick the goblin rider hunter and the goblin warlock. Now, if you look at the top right, uh, right now on the top of uh, BMCC, uh, the five is that how many characters I can have in play, and the four is how many um, mana crystals I have. With mana crystals, you can either use five to, you know, help level up how many characters you can have in play at once, or you can uh, refresh if you want to try to pick different uh, characters. Maybe they didn't have the characters you wanted. Looks like I might actually lose this fight, which is fine. I can lose a couple of fights in the beginning. Not really a big deal. When like the first, I'd say like six or seven turns, you're more just setting up. 
By turn seven, you should be pretty well established. Now, if you have three of the same character, you can combine them to make it another star. So this will be a two star. There we go. That was a pretty uh, productive turn there. And let me see, I can just probably, you know, I'm just going to use five experience to uh, increase my bar in the, t in the bottom left. So now I have seven out of ten, which means next turn, if I spend more experience, I can have more characters. But yeah, the idea is to get a combination of characters together. Um, as far as like multiple goblins or multiple sorcerers or whatever type you're going for at the time. And then you want to get three of each of the same name so you can combine them and make them stronger. I believe their stats double when you make them the next star. And then if you get two, I'm sorry, if you get three of the same character that are both, they're all two stars, you can combine those three to make them three stars. So they become even stronger. Now on this particular list, we do have a few cyborgs. So let's go ahead and get some more of them. And so some left. Spin five, so I, now I can put another character in play. There we go. Actually, I can do... Two engineers. Okay, so I got a couple of bonuses here. I have three cyborgs, so now um, the armor goes up by 75 and regen by 30 by one random. And then because I have two engineers, I increase health regen of all engineers by 45. So we're doing all right. We're doing, I would say, okay. This isn't the perfect setup, but it's actually not bad. Like, I'm actually happy with what I have for the moment. Pretty content. Like, if I do lose, I don't lose bad. And I'll explain what that means. So, when you win or lose, that character will take damage. Whoever the losing character is will take damage equal to the number of characters that are left. Um... So I have two characters left, he would take at least two damage. It might have been more, because if I have, like, two stars, I think it, it deals more damage. But anyway, uh, right now I'm just looking for characters that I already have multiples of, just to try to eventually combine them. So I'll get a couple of those. And that's gonna be pretty much it, I'm not really gonna be super greedy right now. I'll eventually get more of all of these, so I'm okay. And again, if I lose, it won't be too bad and I won't take too much damage. I can lose early, if need be. Now, if you look on the right side of the screen, everybody on the right has certain health. Help. You start with 100 health, and then once you're down to zero, you're pretty much out. And the idea is to knock everybody down to zero. So every round you're playing against a random opponent. That was like, we won. Good job. Now, this video will, as far as how long this video will be, will determine how well I do. Like, if I win, this is going to be at least a 30-minute video. If I lose, it'll probably be closer to 20 minutes, but we'll see. Because I'm doing the regular, I'm not doing the turbo mode. Because there is a turbo mode to make this game faster, but when I play, I want to I get the full, you know, fullness of the game. Let's see, I think that's it on this side. I am going to pay 5 to, I should pay 10 total. Because now I can stick another character on the board. And that's what I'll go ahead and do. Actually, I'm going to do this instead. Now, keep in mind, as far as the bonuses are concerned, you need, for example, three goblins, but they have to be three different goblins, not three of the same goblin. So you only get the bonuses if they're three different goblins. They can still be goblins, but they have to have different names. So it's like I lost that one. I took uh, eight damage because they had a few two star characters, and it looks like the one that doesn't have a star is a level three. So she got these, she might deal more damage as well. All right, so have any cyborgs? Yes, we do. A level three. Speaking of level threes, ready to engage. Yeah, we'll take that one out, I guess. Oh no, if I take that out, I lose my engineers bonus. So let's take out this one. All right? He's a two and he's a one. Yeah. That was the right play. And then equip something if I can. There we go. So now I'm able to use seven because I've done a combination of naturally getting two a turn and 
spending some little experience to uh, increase it a bit. I'm slowly getting where I need to be, but I'm not quite there yet. But there are definitely about at least four other people that have a better squad than I do, for sure. I'm taking 11 to the face. Not good. I gotta really start... Um, right now, I need to be aggressive on getting copies of characters I have, as opposed to getting new characters. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on right now. Alright, so I already own one of him, so I'll get another one of him. Now, I have four left, so I'm going to wait and maybe... Uh, we, you know, see if we can get a better batch later. Now, when I say I have four left, I'm talking about the mana crystals. Uh, typically, I like to keep about three or four in the back, in the bank, if you will, for the next rounds. So when I do get more. In the top screen, uh, where it shows like seven, seven, and four plus six, the four plus six is basically showing how much I could possibly gain from the end of the fight. So right now I'm just playing against uh, the computer, there's just a bear trio. Every so many rounds you play against a computer. So like round one and two you're playing against the computer and then you have a few rounds of, you know, going after the uh, other car other uh, players. And then here you play against the computer again and now we're going to go and mess up a bunch of characters. And it's going to keep basically refreshing back and forth until there's a victor. No, we got seven left. There we go. That's what I want to see. There we go. I know that was kind of quick. Um, I mean, you're on a timer when you're preparing. But I was able to get two more of my characters to two stars. And that was kind of what I was trying to quickly get done. Basically making my odds of winning better. And if I do lose, I don't take as much damage as I'm able to kill more of their people. The idea at this point is that I'm trying to get many... Because I have enough characters and enough types of each character to get good bonuses. So now I just need to get duplicates of each character to make them three stars is the plan right now. <laughs> Alright, so nothing I have there. Refresh. Nothing I have there. Let's see what I have. Six left. And yeah, nothing that I want at least. So yeah. Oh, we're not that lucky. That's okay though. We're still doing okay. I mean, we're not winning, but we're not we're not in the danger zone. When you're less than 50, you're pretty much in the danger zone. Like right now, everybody's actually doing relatively okay. Now, I don't know what the best strats are. I mean, I have some of the strats that I do. And I actually have won a couple of times before, um, but the, I try to, at the very least, get to the top four. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen most of the time for me. I'm usually fortunate enough to, you know, rank well. Alright. We're going to lose, but it won't take as much damage. There's only one of them left. I only took two, so no big deal. I can handle just taking two. Alright, nothing we need here. Nothing we need here. Nothing I want. Got seven. Down to five. There's another cyborg here, but I don't really need to get new cyborgs. I need to get copies of what I already have. We're not that lucky today. So we're just gonna wait. Actually, no, no, we're not. There we go. Now you might say, well, if you saw a cyborg, why didn't you pick it? Well, right now, I already have enough uh, cyborgs to get a decent bonus. And I already have a three-star as well in the cyborgs. So I really don't need to push for anything. There are exceptions to my little rule here, but for the most part, I'm good with what I have. I don't really need to get anything different at this point. I just need to make everybody stronger. In the beginning, you want to get a little variety, but yeah, not right now. Because right now, I can get a, like a four, a level four uh, goblin, but at this point, it won't really be necessary. For me, at the moment, it would be a waste. Hello, Knight. Here comes a dragon. There we go. 
There we go. So we got we promoted some of the two stars, and we got another copy of a character that we have, and that's basically what we're going for right now. We're going for quality over quantity, if you will. Now keep in mind, right now, right now I'm, I'm near the bottom. I'm seventh place at the moment. That could easily change. Now, I have maintained first place before, but that was literally the god hand. Like, I literally got everything I wanted. I even had, like, two legendaries. It was ridiculous. Like, I got absolutely everything I could possibly need. And, like, it was meant for me to win. Like, if I lost, I'd have been stupid. <laughs> All right. So, let's say we can upgrade someone. There we go. We got five left, so I'll, I'll refresh. See if we get anything we can get. No, nothing good. Yeah, we're all right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can keep everything as is. I may consider changing positions on some of them. Yeah, let me do this. Oops. There we go. Let's see what the stronger ones in the front. And yes, I did expect them to hit from behind, but I don't... They're not that big of a threat. I mean, they'll kill some of my people, but I usually win. The good thing about these little uh, monsters... This isn't the character, this is just a uh, computer. You, you, you get a lot of good drops as far as equipment. There we go. So this is where you need to pay attention to your equipment after you kill these things. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, I only own one of these? Wow. Do I want to refresh? Yeah, I do. Mm, nothing I want. We're all right. Yeah, I've already checked that. This will be an actual player, and it tells you on the top who you're playing against. Like, I'm playing against the top person, Bands 2, so I'm expecting to lose this fight, since they've been pretty much on top for a while. That means they've been getting some good pulls pretty consistently. Typically, people who are on the top for a long time are people who are the luckiest. We're not doing too bad against them, but we're not going to win, for sure. We'll just take less damage, is all. There we go. So we'll take 6 to the face. All right, so next round. Well, actually, we have to wait for everybody else to finish. There we go. All right, so, uh... Hello, Knights. Here comes a dragon. Boom. Very respected in my village. So we got about seven left. Let's refresh. Yeah, we can try to get more. Well, you got to be careful, because you don't want to have eight people on your bench. I want him. But this could end up clogging up space, so I got to be careful going forward. Either that or I'll need to start spending my experience to, to add slots so I can put more people on the board. If I can get a, a third uh, totem face, it'll be alright. Glad we got that win, by the way. Okay, so I don't think we want, but... I want to, yeah, I'm going to refresh. There we go. I got exactly what I wanted. And then we can put that there. Alright, so, would that hurt? Yeah, it will hurt, never mind. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the, the engineer bonus going, so that's why the guy hasn't left yet. Ben Ho. Right now I'm currently in sixth place. I'm sorry, I'm in fifth place. I've been doing a little better than I expected to do right now, but I've been I've been getting decent pulls. Like this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Like I feel like I can get top four at the end of this. All right, so this is where things are going to get awkward, because now I am going to start running out of space. Hmm. 
and I can't put them both. If I get, I can't grab both because I only have eight slots and there's already seven people filling it up. I think I'm going to spin this turn instead of selecting anything. Well, I do want the three star actually. Hmm. All right, so what I did was I grabbed one of these because he's a three star or a level three, and then I spent five to up my space a bit. What I'm gonna do next turn is I'm gonna spend five more experience, plus the two I'm gonna get next turn to be able to slot that I can put a creature on the board so that when I do refresh again, I'll you know be able to have more room. So there is a bit of space management here. You gotta do some balancing here. Some they, That was an awkward turn for me, but I mean, I was still okay for the most part. And I won that fight, by the way. Ooh, that's a perfect thing to get. I'm still gonna... I got eight. I'll spend five, so the next turn I'll be able to throw something else on the table. I haven't got anyone at three stars yet. We'll get there eventually. It's just going to take some time. Right now we're going up against the computer again, the Crystal Crocs. So, you know, we're just going to get some equipment here. And again, you should win. Alright, let's get some equipping. There we go. Now, if you notice, sometimes it's in yellow when I'm picking equipment. It means I'm upgrading an equipment I already have, uh, just to make it stronger on whichever character I have it equipped to. Or I could have just given it to a different character, but I typically just give it to the same one. Alright, so now I can actually add another character. Um, debating if I want to do that guy or if I should do this guy. I'm being suggested to run him, but I don't know if that's a good idea personally. I have, what, 10? So let's see if we can get something. 8, 6, 4. Nothing. Oh, we're up against the number one person again. Let's see if we do any better. Mr. Band's number two. Right now, I'm at least trying to get top four. If you get top four, you get more points to go, you know, to get your personal rank up. If you get bottom four, then you actually lose points and can potentially get demoted. Oh, I actually won, though. Huh. Pretty cool, actually. That tells us that we're actually doing really good. We have, what, 11? Let's see if we can And there's six left. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is going to mess me up in space. I don't know if I want to pick that, to be honest. Because I have six, but if I, when I go to refresh next turn, I'm not going to be able to add anything else. If I'm going to add anything, it's going to be something that I have, like, multiples of. That are on the bottom here. And all these, the total faces are all in play right now. Oh, five win streak. The has given up on <laughs> all right, so one player's been defeated. Right now I'm currently in third place. As long as I remain, maintain top four, that's all I really care about at this point. Let's see. Well, we have about 12 mana left, so we can do that. I have one in the back, so I can do that. Refresh. Nothing here. One more time. Nothing. Okay. I'm trying to get either um, a Voodoo Elder or a Steel Fist at the moment, is what I'm looking for. So I can combine them and have more space. Now, if you get to the point where you get something, where you can choose something, but you don't have enough room, 
you can always take something and move it over here, and then it'll add, um, you know, some mana crystals back to you and you'll have more space. So you can do that. I try to avoid doing that, but there have been some situations where it's been necessary. Oh, beautiful. That's absolutely what I wanted to see. That was, that was wonderful. Okay. Uh, do I want to grab a second one? Not yet. We're going to wait. Actually, I'm going to refresh. Let's see if I can get anything that's on the back row here. Yeah, we're gonna wait. We don't have anybody at three stars yet, but we got a board full of strong two stars. I guess the opponent has given up on healing. I like some of the little comments they do here too. Well, we're doing pretty good right now, surprisingly. Alright, so we get something at, as a two-star, so that's been promoted. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. So all I do is grab one more of those, and we can, you know, do beautiful things. My connection's going in and out. Alright. Well, let's keep going. Nope, nothing we need. We'll be alright. We're not... Doing terrible on luck here. We're doing okay. And yeah, most of my games I start off like seventh or eighth place for about you know seven or eight rounds, and all of a sudden I'm like number three. That's usually how my matches go. Like I said, there's only been once where I've been number one the entire time, and I was just super duper lucky. All right, so let's take a look at some equipment here. Upgrade. Oh, uh, hold on, get that out of the way. Finish my equipping here. Alright, so we have... No, uh, don't want any of those. Yes, there is something I have, but I'm trying to get something I have on my bench. That's the stretch I'm going for here. Space management. Oh, a legendary. I don't care, it's going into play. I don't even care. The equipment went away. Whoops. I think I messed up. <laughs> well, you get a legendary, you grab it. I don't care. Even if it's not a legendary you need, you grab it. Oh, it's the number one guy again. Oh, they actually kicked my butt this time pretty bad. Yeah, I think I shouldn't have put that legendary in play, but legendaries are really good to have. That's the only time where I break my rules is if I get a Legendary, because those are usually just strong by themselves. Alright. So, I got 10. I'm not going to worry about getting any more, um... Hold on. We're not doing that. Refresh. Okay, nope. And no. I'm going to leave the Legendary in there. Now, the cool thing about this Legendary is it just happens to be a Cyborg, too, so it kind of fits the theme I was going for anyway. But the problem is they keep killing them. So what I'm going to have to do is I want to space everybody out differently to where anyone who's attacking the back doesn't automatically kill it. If you can keep a Legendary alive, it'll basically wipe the board for you, or it'll do a lot of good things. So yeah, I need to change up my strats. I hope I get lucky enough to get some more promotions here. That, that's what I'm lacking on right now is promotions. I become dumb when I get a legendary just because they're they're rare and they're good. You just have to your best. That's, that's actually when your placement matters as far as where you put pieces on the board. Because there's really no like legit strat that I'm aware of as far as there we go. Hold on. All right, now I got a three star. That's wonderful. Oh, that's right, I still haven't made space yet. Uh, actually, we have eight left. Six, four, we'll stop here. All right, oh yeah, I need to move people around. There we go. Let's put the legendary somewhere in the middle. 
where he's not going to be too harassed. Oh, wow, that person is pretty stacked as well. Well, I was able to get someone up to three stars right now, so that's a big. That's gonna make a big difference. Now, keep in mind that my legendary ability just went off. So, like now, like you know, I forgot. I'm not exactly sure what he did, but it's helping me win. If you can keep your legendary alive for at least one of his ultimates, it'll do something. I still lost, but that was a better fight. I'm actually considering just blowing my load on getting more pieces on the board, but it would just take too much to do that. And I need to get more three stars. I really do. I, I think it's too late for me to really... I can get one of those. It feels like a waste, but I can get one of those. My sword is a combination of strength and precision. No. And... yeah... I do want both of those. That more. We're having a spacing issue again, but we'll be alright. Oh, Legendary's gonna get killed. Well, it's, it's being distracted right now, but it's gonna probably get killed here. Oh no! And was able to do his ability. Although I just died. <laughs> alright, maybe I should just take the Legendary out for now. Maybe I should do that, because, I don't know. I'm getting my butt kicked now. Oh, they're still fighting. <laughs> I thought I lost. <laughs> okay. What do we need? It, the screen was just kind of going off. I thought I did lost already. Okay, so I'm still confident I'll get, like, top four. But... Oh, wow, another legend. Hold on a minute. I gotta make some serious adjustments here. Alright. I'm gonna play two legendaries just to see if it makes a difference. And I got the Warlock ability, so... The two warlocks increase life steal for allies by 15%. Excess health from life steal becomes a shield. Okay. I need to actually really think about um, rearranging the board right now. Let's see. Oh, my stuff's full. I'm going to get rid of this because I'm not fighting these at all. I need to get stronger things anyway. Mm. All right, all right. You call the shots. I'm trying to so uh, if nothing else hold off until, you know, I get top four. Because I don't think I know I'm not gonna win at this point. I'm not getting lucky enough to get a bunch of three stars. And I'm having to sacrifice my um, sideline too much too. Ooh, 14. Yeah, we're actually not doing good right now. I could potentially not get top four if I mess up too much. Here. Let's see. Uh, nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, man. All right, as much as I like legendaries, I'm losing right now because of it. All right, all right. You call the shots. I'm doing some like heavy thinking here. Top four, okay, I'm good. Someone got defeated, so I'm okay now. If you're good at math, you will know how powerful I am. Alright, so got that one for us now. 
Uh, I don't really care about that anymore. There we go. Hurry up. Bam. There we go. I was like last second, like clutch, you know, decision making there, but I got some three stars out of it and made some room. Not 100% sure if I sh should have put the legendary in there or not, but hey, I got top four. That's what matters. But there you go. Fourth place. And then, of course, it'll tell you, like, what you were using at the end of it. And you can see everybody else's lineup, too. So now I'm still Rook 1. I was actually higher Rook, but I've been not doing so well lately. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you can basically see that, you know, the characters that we're using, if there were three stars, you know, you can see basically how stacked your opponents were. A good indication of why you lost or whatever the case may be. Now, if you look at the person on the top, he played a strategy where he wasn't really, like, cycling so much. He was just, if he didn't get something he wanted, he would just pay five to, you know, increase his experience so he can put eventually ten, which is the maximum amount of followers you can have on the board at one time. So he was just trying to get ten on the board so he could, you know, just be able to dominate. And he was getting lucky and getting a lot of what he needed here. So that's pretty good. A lot of two stars, just two, three stars, but it was good enough. He probably had a lot of synergy here, too. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, just rush, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty cool demo. The game lasted quite a while, like I said it would. But, um, you know, this is a really good game. Um, definitely one of my favorites. I am going to be doing a top five on the podcast coming up. Uh, keep in mind that we do do a podcast, me and Handy Killicam on Twitch TV. This will be Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Central. I'm going to actually go over my top five favorite uh, mobile games so far of this year that I've been playing games. So uh, look forward to that. We also have a Patreon page as well. So if you wish to support us on the podcast, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash OG podcast. And uh, show us some love. Show us some support. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, drop us a comment, you know, here and there too. And we'll be keeping up with it. And we'd like to chat with you guys as well. Other than that, that's going to be it for this video. We'll see you on the next episode. Take care, y'all.